morning, everyone. I'm Pascal Ochoa, CETEC of Showin Managing Director. I'm very happy to be here and to share some views and thoughts about offshore wind market. I am also pleased to present CETEC Offshore Wind and the diversity of solutions shaped by our engineers. Um, with me, there will be Henri Dupuy, which is the structural director of CETEC Offshore Wind, and uh, Sandrine Betmont, uh, CETEC Offshore Wind business developer. But uh, just to start, a few words about uh, CETEC. Um, founded in 1957, uh, the CETEC Group has continuously developed uh, above the years and to be today the France largest, one of the France largest uh, in January's companies. Um, it's a a recognized player on various technical sectors. And in particular, CETEC groups has developed uh, special skills in design and construction for the infrastructure, buildings, environments, and energy projects. We are entirely independent. The group is owned by its engineers. Headquarters are in Paris. Um, and the uh, CETEC Group employs 3,800 people and generates 488 million euros of revenue in 2023. Uh, France is the home of 70% of our activities, whereas 30% uh, take place in 25 countries where CETEC has permanent team. Uh, in addition, um, a key strategic objective of CETEX Group is to be a leading contributor to the ecological transition, providing low carbon solutions, reduction of uh, uses of resources on all these projects, and protection of biodiversity. Excuse me for the slideshow. Here we are. The CETEC Group is, uh, is playing a, a leading role in major infrastructural buildings, environmental, and energy projects. We are known with um, the Channel Tunnel, the Viaduc Mio, several motorways in France and in Europe. Um, most of the new high-speed rail lines in France, but also in the UK. Known also with uh, landmark buildings in Paris with the Louis Vuitton Foundation or the Court of Justice of Paris. And also uh, several energy projects like uh, Flamanville 3 or Inclay Point C, which are uh, nuclear power plants. But uh, we are here to talk about offshore wind, and we believe offshore wind faces three major challenges. The first one is technological, because flooding still an immature uh, technology with uncertain cost. With bottom fixed, we are trying to push back the limits to depths, and we are still having a major area of optimization for cables, anchoring, and moorings. Other challenge is the availability of infrastructure and industry. Port facilities and logistics are facing mass deployment and require significant land capacity. Other challenge is grid extension and installation, of course, and also substation. And then you have the sustainability challenge with this which is not small, with the limitation of environmental impact in all our projects, and of course, acceptability and integration of those projects in the territories. To face that, CETEC Offshore Wind aims first to develop and secure 
the offshore wind energy technology. Uh, we propose also solution for the mass construction and optimization of installation. And of course, we can advise and support your project to be successful. So today, we decided to create CETEC Offshore Wind, which is a subsidiary of Group CETEC dedicated to offshore wind, with three technical departments, consulting and owners engineers departments, is a, a team dedicated to manage uh, with high level the project, but also uh, follow up very much more operational and to give some advice on environmental issues. And I will let the, the word to Henri to talk about offshore structure engineer and after uh, Sandrine to talk about port engineers. Good morning. Uh, so as uh uh, Pascal introduced, uh, I'm the technical manager of the offshore wind department of uh, CETEC Offshore Wind. Our ambition is to... Yes. Our ambition is to propose solutions for uh, uh, all the, f the frame of uh, structures that uh, uh, are required for the offshore industry, of course for the wind industry. Um, so, uh, f for the uh, offshore foundations, foundations of uh, wind turbines, uh, of course, you don't step into this market as a new player uh, with uh, all the capacities that are already developed by uh, other players of the industry. Uh, but what our ambition is to propose a new approach, uh, with, uh, which is uh, uh, to be developed uh, and to answer the uh, actual needs and the requirements of uh, the uh, of the developers of the fabricators, uh, focusing on um, the capacity to be very reactive uh, during the tenders and also to uh, uh, adapt the solutions to uh, the fabrication process. Uh, for this, we are developing tools, uh, and uh, this is uh, I'd, I'd say. Um, uh, s something that is already in the DNA of, uh, of CETEC, uh, as CETEC developed its own tools, like Pythagore, for instance, uh, to, uh, to address the structural engineering of, uh, of civil infrastructures. So this is uh, our approach for the, the, the design of the foundations. Uh, which is ongoing, and uh, uh, and we we are uh, actually uh, discussing with uh, the players on in the industry to have this properly uh, uh, developed for to to address this market. Um, we uh, have the capacity from now to uh, uh, design uh, uh, transportation and installation. Uh, uh, aids and uh, also to uh, to address the, uh, the the required uh, analysis and calculations for for this type of uh, uh, of activity and uh, uh, also we are proposing an EPC offer uh, for to uh, design and fabricate uh, fabric uh, installation aids. Uh, for this, we are discussing with, uh, we have partners who are fabricating this, uh, uh, these installation nets already. And um, uh, the idea is really to have efficient tools uh, and uh, uh, also that are designed properly for uh, uh, fabrication that is uh, done with uh, swiftly and uh, uh, also uh, according to the, the fabrication process of our uh, of our partners. Um, we also have the capacity from now to design uh, offshore substations. Uh, the, the, of course, the foundations of these offshore uh, substations, but also the top sides. Um, this, well, what is important to, uh, to know is that we are covering the design from uh, conceptual to uh, uh, execution and the construction drawings. Uh, it, well, CETEC is uh, 
uh, use the two uh, to 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 this to to uh, complex projects uh, with uh, experience and track record from uh, uh, civil infrastructures and uh, this uh, capacity, this know-how, uh, we will uh, develop it in uh, in the for the offshore industry. Well, personally, I've been in the offshore industry for 30 years, uh, so. Uh, uh, actually bringing this experience to adapt the, the capacities uh, and uh, the, of, of CETEC to, to do this job. Considering also that CETEC, as it was mentioned, is a large group uh, with, uh, uh, with many engineers and particularly our uh, parent company CETEC TPI uh, has a reservoir of uh, about 400 people to be able to, that can be mobilized swiftly to, uh, uh, to contribute to the project. Um, CETEC also, uh, I mean, in the, in the activity, in the current activity of CETEC, uh, the, the group is involved in development of uh, uh, solutions and uh, to uh, uh, not, well, I'd say not innovative solutions. Uh, innovation is not something that is I'd say, uh, really uh, uh, seeked by the, by the offshore industry. We want to have things that are robust, uh, that, uh, can be, that can be uh, developed on sea with, uh, uh, with the security and uh, with, with, uh, with the reliability. So, uh, but taking, uh, taking advantage of this uh, experience of CETEC in developing new solutions, we are uh, addressing uh, some uh, specific uh, uh, challenges and uh, uh, developments that are required for, by the industry. Uh, so these are topics that uh, we are working on at the moment uh, related to fatigue, with, uh, which is, uh, I mean, in, in the offshore, definitely it's, uh, it's one of the major topics, uh, not only for the turbine, for the, the turbine foundations, but also for the substations. And we are developing a process to make this uh, analysis more, uh, to, to help to optimize, uh, to better optimize uh, uh, the, the structures and to uh, solve some approximations that are uh, currently uh, done in the analysis that are, uh, that are, that are currently uh, carried, carried out. Uh, some, some also challenges related to concrete herds, uh, related to water tightness and impact loads, uh, and also uh, some alternate materials uh, that would uh, be some added value uh, regarding non-economic non criteria. Uh, and also uh, heavy handling uh, is also which is uh, uh, a major concern for the floating wind. So, well, to execute the development, we we are ready to partner with uh, uh, with uh, major uh, uh, players of the industry. And if you want to know more about this, where well, we have a, a booth uh, where we can uh, have uh, some discussion to further explain uh, what are our views and uh, objectives uh, for for, the, for the, these topics, and maybe others. So, now I, I give the grant to uh, yeah. Sandrine. Merci. To talk about port. OK. Um, as you may know, everybody here, port are key, um, key point, key element to, uh, to, to allow the industrialization of food, uh, because uh, you know that in construction ports, the components will be delivered, stored, assembled, and uh, even the turbine may be integrated. So there are many challenges to, 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 face. to face, yes, so thank you. And the first one is um, to, um, sorry, to, to, to identify the spaces, the areas where all these activities can be performed. Uh, here is illustrated different layouts because another challenge is to, uh, to, to know what kind of uh, floaters could be, uh, could be assembled. It could be in steel, it could be in uh, concrete. So the, um, the weight and the, the surfaces needed are not the same at all. So you have to identify to, to, to draw different layouts and uh, imagine maybe the different activities could be performed in the port. The second challenge is, oh, no, 
So that's the second challenge is to, uh, after having identified the, the layout, the space where you can perform your activities, is to see if your infrastructure, if your uh, your case, uh, your your folder, your your surfaces are reinforced enough. Uh, most of the time, it's not the case, so you have to uh, uh, perform some geotechnical or uh, civil engineering studies, and this is what uh, CETEC is, uh, is uh, offering. We, we illustrated different, uh, different activities, and uh, we have the, the track records for, for this kind of uh, studies. Sorry. Um, so most of the time, space is uh, is not sufficient, and we have imagined that uh, some innovative solution out of the box can be proposed to, to our customer to port. Um, the idea is to uh, not develop the land, but to go on the sea, on the water, with uh, floating structures in order to uh, avoid um, the environmental uh, impact to be um, too, too, too strong and uh, to, to offer some, uh, some spaces, uh, some other spaces, sorry. Uh, this is illustrated on the picture on the, on the bottom. This is the configuration for the weight storage. Uh, you know that this is a big issue today for ports to to accommodate such facilities for for the floaters and for the uh, offshore uh, wind turbine integrated on the floater. Yeah, you need a lot of space, and as I said at the beginning, uh, we don't know today if the floaters will be in concrete, in uh, in steel. What will be the shape of these floaters? So. We propose a solution agnostic, let's say agnostic, like a floating dike, and this dike can be accommodated several uh, types of floaters. Um, we, we think that this solution is impact less, or less impact less than uh, um, a butter fix one, and uh, uh, it's maybe um, economical, it depends on the configuration, this is something that has to be studied. And also, um, it's adaptable. We have imagined um, a reversible connection between several concrete cases to allow this, uh, this, uh, this infrastructure, floating infrastructure. This is what CETEC can offer as a study. So here we are for the CETEC offshore wind presentation. Just keep in mind that, in a nutshell, CETEC is a wide range of services for offshore wind challenges. And um, we are very happy to meet you on our stand just over there uh, to uh, answer your questions. So feel free to ask here, now, or after. And, uh, and have a, a successful trade fair for all of, all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you.